let's get things started tonight with a look at our weather headlines. Our upper level weather pattern is finally beginning to change. That upper level high that has been creating that heat dome, giving us these record breaking temperatures is starting to move east and that is making the way for an upper level low to move in off the Texas coast and become our next weather maker. And what that's going to do is help our temperatures start to cool down that we saw a little bit today and we'll continue to see tomorrow and throughout next week and also give us those slight chances of rain almost every day next week as it brings some more of that Gulf moisture into the area. But some of us here across the Country Valley were lucky enough to see a little bit of rain yesterday. If we take a look at our rainfall total so far, we can see zooming in at Mason County, almost three inches of rain recorded. They did have a lot of lightning induced grass fires, so that are still going on. So that has been a problem they've been experiencing. And switching things further north, we can see over three inches recorded just southeast of Sterling City, as well as in northern Coleman County as well. There was about an inch and a half recorded just north of San Angelo, and Grape Creek did report a 60 mile per hour wind gust in some of those storms that rolled through yesterday. But let's go ahead and switch things up though and take a look at the tropics. For the past week or so, the Atlantic has been pretty quiet and the NHC is expecting it to remain quiet, but there is a lot of activity in the Pacific. So this is Tropical Storm Hone. It did receive a Hawaiian name and it is expected to move south past the islands throughout this weekend, but it is the outer rain bands are going to start to bring in some heavy rainfall, providing some flash flooding concerns to the big island, as well as tropical storm force winds and some large surf. So in preparation for that, they are under a tropical storm warning until Tuesday, but there is also a fire weather warning as well. Their warm temperatures, low humidity, and those strong winds provided by Honey is really fueling their fire weather conditions in an area that is prone to them. This is a similar situation to what we saw last year with the Maui wildfire, so it is something officials are very closely monitoring. And just a couple hundred miles behind is Hurricane Gilma, currently a Category 2 storm, expected to weaken through the weekend, but it will move just north of Hawaii and hopefully not pose an impact for them as well. If we go ahead and look at our temperatures across the state of Texas, we can see lots of places hit triple digits once again, which with Wichita Falls coming in at the highest. Closer look across the Contra Valley, still triple digits here in San Angelo, Robert Lee, Sterling City, and Merton. A little bit cooler in our southern counties. Brady seems to be the coolest right now at 93 degrees. If we go ahead and let the future cast play out, we can see mostly clear skies throughout the night tonight and going into tomorrow as well. So our forecast for tonight, 76 degrees under mostly clear skies. Tomorrow, 98 degrees, things start to be a little less hot. And here is that 70. We see our temperatures get into those mid-90s and those rain chances almost every day next week as well.